First Alert Weather with Chief Meteorologist Haley Clausen. It is finally Friday and look at the view that we have. Beautiful clear skies, a fantastic view of San Gregonio with snow capped peaks and starting to get some nice coloring there from the sunset. If you have any sunset photos, please send them my way. Share at KESQ.com would love to see your viewpoint from where you are in the desert. Now skies are not only clear here in the Coachella Valley, but all across Southern California, the trough of low pressure that swung across the state yesterday is continuing off towards the east, taking all of that wet weather with it. And while our winds were a little on the breezy side with that offshore flow today. Winds are settling down and they'll take on more of a westerly flow as we head throughout the rest of tonight. Skies, they're staying clear. Temperatures staying quite cool, dropping on down into the 40s before midnight. But because of that offshore flow that we were experiencing, it is just incredibly dry out there and that's exactly how we're going to be staying with our dew point temperatures below 30 degrees. That is fantastic for the desert. Now it is going to be another cold night and there is a frost advisory to the west of the desert. This is for the Inland Empire taking effect at 10 p.m. tonight until 8 a.m. tomorrow morning. Now west of here, we're talking about temperatures dropping down below 35 degrees, so widespread frost is expected. And while there is no frost advisory for the Coachella Valley, we know wind sheltered areas, areas a little bit lower line where the temperature can drop a bit more, there is the potential for that frost to develop thanks to the clear skies overhead. We're not talking clouds tonight, we're not talking wind tonight. Both of those things would help alleviate any frost development, but not going to be the case. Now that trough again working its way off towards the east in its place. It is a weak ridge of high pressure that's trying to build in over California. Not going to be doing too much with warming us up. We're keeping our below normal temperature trend, but moving into Sunday winds will begin to take on that offshore flow yet again, more of a northerly flow Then moving into Monday, a more northeasterly flow. And it's mainly on Monday that we're looking to actually notice the winds out there and actually have more of an impact for those of us here in the desert. Our first alert comfort air 70 forecast does show that subtle warming trend into the upper 60s. Sunday is actually the Lunar New Year, not Monday. But look as we head into Monday, dropping us down into the low 60s with a slow recovery into the middle of next week. Peter. Okay. Thanks, Haley.